Which I miss your boy Crook 1738. I play NBA 2K22 next gen real quick. I'm sure I make the best Allen Iverson build, aka AI build in NBA 2K22. Before I start talking about it, go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe to the video. And also, if you haven't seen my other build videos, go check it out. I got point guards, I got the Kevin Durant build, I got the Yannis build. Go check them out. If not, I'm going to pop on the top right, one of the, or the top left. I forgot what side they be on. But anyway, let's get back to the video. So position, shooting guard, he's a shooting guard. Hand, right hand really don't matter. I just choose right handed. Um, Trace number can be any number, but I choose number two. I play here, continue. Height, six feet. It says six feet. People say he's 5'11". I'm going with six feet. It says I'm 2K, so he's six feet right here. Weight, I'm at 169. For the dribble, probably that for the ball speed right there. And the wingspan, 6'3". I did body shape to fine. We really probably can go compact or slight or something like that. But anyway, body shape, it's just go how you do it, basically. Whatever you decide. All right, you see, I got 24 finishing, 30 shooting, 34 playmaking, and 21 defense badges. You can tell that this build go crazy. Only thing about I'm lacking is on defense, but I'll talk about it a little bit more later on down the line. Like down the defense area but real quick. I'm sure just finishing. I got a close shot 78 driving lift 93 driving dunk 71 close shot is good don't worry about that 78 is fine some people want to go a little bit lower i think 78 is fine right here you probably could go lower but i think you need that 78 to be a little better being consistent with it when you do driving layup 93 because you know ai was a good layup and finisher so you're not making this layup pretty hard and do all the contest layup that's why i gotta get it's like a acrobat, giant slayer, fearless finisher, oh, slither finisher, and teardropper. Teardrop come in handy too. He was big on teardrops too. So, layup is good. Driving dunk, got 71. I didn't make it too high. I just made it just enough to get some defense badges. I made some on finishing badges. That's why I put it on the, the 71. But. This is dunk, this dunk is not, he doesn't do the dunk a lot. You see his highlights? He did, like, if he did dunk, it was like the basic dunks, stuff like that. So, I get little dunks in there anyway. I think you need that. Now let's go to shooting. I got 92 mid-range, 84 through ball, and the 74 free throws. Mid-range was his killer. He was a killer mid-range shooter. He was a dog in the right. Uh, mid-range, he can pull that thing anywhere over you. It don't really matter. He can, he can kiss himself, step back, and everything. He was going crazy with it. That's how I made his, his mid range so high with his build. I'm looking at people's builds. They make his threes higher than his mid range. I'm thinking that, but he really was more of a two. He was shooting mid range better. He shot the three ball. And he shot more mid range than he shot three balls. So I wonder how they made him three so high. So I mean, I said, nah, it ain't made it right. So he, he got an 84 three ball. You know, the game's 83. I mean, 84, or it might be lower than that. But this is good enough right here. So you still can shoot. I shoot on Hall of Fame with it during 77, like I always tell you, at the Micro Hall of Fame and at the park and all that other stuff. You know, when you go to the park, program is not on Hall of Fame. Probably like superstar level, if anything, on difficulties. So you're going to be fine with shooting with this build. It's easy to shoot with an 80. 80 and up, really, you fine, basically. You good. Well, I'm going to shoot the badges real quick. I got Mismatch Gold, Dead Eye Silver, uh, Blind Gold. Difficult shots go, rhythm shooter go, sniper hall of fame, volume shooter hall of fame, I mean, yeah hall of fame, stop and pop silver. So that's good right there. You can shoot really good with this build. So the badges right here help you with it. And green machine, that's key too. All the badges are really key with this build to make this build better at shooting. You know you can shoot really good anyway. Now let's go to playmaking real quick. I got 86 pass, ball hand 93, speed ball 93. I don't got too much to say right here because look at this right here. I gave you gold bullet passer. Not only that, I gave you gold echo break, go echo breaker, space creator hall of fame. I don't know for days hall of fame. Stop and go hall of fame. Stop and go hall of fame is nasty. I don't know if nobody ever realized it. When you do those little jump moves real quick, off it in and out, taking off, stop and go. Even it helps you with your shooting too. To stop real fast, shoot your, or do a pull up real quick. This Hall of Fame is crazy on Stop and Go. I need to try it out. I don't think so. Tight handles, Hall of Fame. That's good too. It's almost like Anchor Brook if you think about it. They really work hand to hand. You got Unpluckable Go, Quick Chain Go, Quick Step Hall of Fame. I mean, Quick Chain Hall of Fame, Quick First Step Hall of Fame. 
Like, this bill go crazy. Type making wise, this bill can do it all right here. Even if they put a good defender on you, you know what's gonna happen? You can be too fast for them, and then you're gonna break his ankles. I mean, and he, I don't know. It's like they can't, they ain't gonna stay in front of you that long. You're too fast. Like he was in real life. He's too fast. You can't guard it for long. Only way you guard you, you have another short guard just like your build to stay with you. Even then, it still be hard, but it's the best bet they even got. Let's go to defense real quick. I got no interior defense. I can tell you, you don't need it. You can play around interior, you know, interior defense right now. We got perimeter 86, steals 93, block 57, no offense rebounds, defense rebound 36. Perimeter defense is pretty good because you still get all the good defense badges with an 86. You got go anchor brace. Brace, ball, not ball stripper, but you got the Manus go, you got and then you got Clouds go, then you got Pit Dodger go, Tyler Defenders go. I mean, like you can still play really good defense on the good dribblers, but yeah, you know I mean, like I don't, I won't say it won't be a problem, but 86 is not bad, but it's not the highest. But you can get by with 86 if you know what I mean. Like you can work with 86; it's not that bad. I know people like have 90s in there, but a is not bad at all on playing defense with this bill. So don't think that it's bad. You can still you can still make it work with minutes and all counts and all that stuff right there. The anchor brace and all that. So you still fine. Still is ninety three. You know you still in everything. Is John Drew in front of you? <laughs> Pope. Like man, like what you doing with that man? Like they ain't been nothing with you in front of you like that. They been not drilling in front of your face like that. They gotta have space for that dribble. Because now you can strip the ball. Even if I lay the ball up on you. Or oh, you still in front of them, strip. Even if you're on the side of them, poke. I'm mean, like, you doing it all. They can't really mess with you like that. Square, square button going to be your best friend with this build because you're so short. So don't try to really block everything. You know, you got chase down block. Don't try to block everything. Remember, when you short or think stroke before you think and block. Now, if you always beat, you already behind, and you can't the ball, then you try to bless block because you got chase down on bruns. But... If you're on the side or in the front of them, trying to let the ball or trying to do all the moves to you, hit square. They will not dribble in front of your face. They cannot do it in front of your face. You're just ripping the ball, man. So you can be good on defense right here. Blocks, you got 57. You got enough to get intimidated. I'll try to make a build at least with Bruns Intimidator and with Chase Down Bruns. Because I haven't chased down at all at all sucks. Like you can tell a bit difference on Bruns and no chase down at all. So you need at least to have Bruns. On here, I'm trying to tell you, it's a bit different. And Tim, that you need down here too. Even Chris Paul didn't have a Tim that on this game, so it's pretty cool that you know you six feet and you got Tim that it helps you a lot. And don't get me wrong, it might still score over you because it only bronze, but at least you got it on, so it's not having it on at all. So you good right here. I have no point to get off the rebound. That's why I ain't getting none. Defense, I did 36 because A, I had 45 or something like that, so I got close to his re defense rebound. So you can get some boards. Cause I don't have no offense boards at all. Kind of sucks, low key. But if you're gonna have, at least have defense. Offense you can get around there. But defense you need it. But you're gonna have other builds in when you play your boards with you. So you be good. And 21 batch is pretty good. If you don't think so, if you can also put more on when you go to college and stuff like that to put more on this build to help you with your defense to get more badges or to get more with your playmaking or shooting or your finishing. Do it how you ever think you need more of them. I would say defense, you know, growing with defense, you need more defense as a guard. The more the better for you anyway. For the physical real quick, you got 86 speed, acceleration 83, strength 30, vertical 60, stamina 94. Speed and acceleration gonna be fine. When you get plus four, 90 with high we'll be at 90 in the high 80, so you're not gonna be slower. I don't think it really matters the most with the ball is 93. When you got all that speed on park, it's like you're just sliding everywhere. If you're not control it, it's too fast for you. You gotta get used to working with it. But when you get that when you get that plus four gym right, it's gonna hit you out a lot with all that. So you're gonna be good. So I don't think about it, you slow right now. It's still pretty fast right now with 86. Then you get that gym right, it's a 90. So you're gonna be fast with this stuff. Vertical, you're gonna have a 90, even 64. Don't look, don't look bad when you have 60 vertical. That's not bad neither because you can do a lot with a 60 vertical. I'm trying to tell you, it's not that bad at all. Don't knock it before you try it. Be real. I'm going to be real with you. It's not bad. And stamina 94. So you know you need a good stamina because 2K so much on stamina this year. Mess with your shots, your dribbling, and all that. So the more the better for you to go crazy with the dribbling moves. Do a little step back. Do all that. Have all the dribbling and stamina good enough to do what you got to do. 
for this AI building here crossover guy. Like I said though, you can also make the build how you make it. If you think you need more finishing, more shoot, more playmaking, more defense, do that, switch around with it. But I thought it's the best way to make an AI build. And plus a best way, you know, to take the build almost everywhere except the one v one court. You can take the one v one court. I won't it'd be hard to make it work. But you got a high steal, that's something I got you in your advantage. You so you should be good with that. After uh, that though, hit continue real quick. I'm sure you take over. I got the uh, slashing takeover, shot creator takeover, playmaking takeover, and a defense takeover. Or a perimeter takeover, how you want to call it. You go with how you play. I always see it every video. Go take over how you play your playing style. If you feel like the slash one, go slashing. Because he was a good finisher too, so you really can go wrong with going with slashing anyway. But you know he broke ankles. You want to get ankle breaker. But you can get playmaking, lock down, do what you want to do. If you think your defense is also bad, you can take over with it and help you with your defense too. So you'll be fine right here. But if you want to be like AI, I say get ankle breaker and negative impact. But I also like this one too, though, the pull up one, though. But I, I also like the slashing one. But if it's up to me, I see you get shot creator, the negative impact, and the ankle breaker one, you'll be good to go. If you want to be like AI, to me, in my opinion. But after that, you hit finish. It's the name of two way three. I don't know why. I ain't never thought he was really a two way three like that. I guess his younger days he was on two A. When you go to AI on the game, it's a two way three. So I think I did. I have my arm right on the money. Plus the shade of AI or Allen Iverson, Kyrie Irving, Donovan Mitchell. Like I said, let me know what you think about the build. You think this build good? I mean, just let me know, man, what y'all think. If y'all enjoyed the video, man, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm out. Thank you.